Hi guys, I want to show you, before it goes in the attic, how I refurbished this. Not the sewing, the taking it apart and the working it out. And it's got a little quilt inside it. This is a sheet. These are things I've been given to do it. And then we have a nice cuddle fabric in here. And then, as you can see, there's a cuddle fabric roll here. And a lovely little detail in that. And because it's the owners of my canine therapist, and I'm doing it for them as a treat, they've got a grandson coming. I've put Max on the side of it because he's, he's my comfort dog. Anyway, started out. You take this off, it's attached with two straps, which has got a bolt that goes through the basket. The first thing you do is get a piece of paper and everything you do, write it down. The first thing I did after I took it off, took the straps out, was take the elastic out the front piece. So I've said which is the front. I've even got the old elastic, how much was sticking out for loops, just stitched into place. I've used masking tape just to write on it, position one. And then I know it goes in the front there and at the back of this strip, which is the first one, it says that this is attached on this line. It's got a curve in it, but that's quite easy to do. I'm not going to show you sewing today, but we'll get there. Then it's got the cuddle fabric roll attached to that, which is here. I've got the direction on my masking tape. In case the elastic came out, which it didn't, it's just one piece that's folded into two. I've got a little note as to where the elastic goes. See? And then this bit was folded, a little fold and a big fold attached to there. So I've written on there with masking tape. The bit that holds the back strap in is positioned on the inside. So I've got that taped. All it is is overlocked. I've written it down. Uh, it's attached to the inside after this has been turned in with the elastic in. So every bit I wrote down, I put A, B, C. I did all the measurements. I did the size of the seam allowance. I wrote on here which way up. I put on here everything that I did, where the bias binding went. And so what you do, you work in reverse when you've cut it all out. Oh, and I've put grain line on, which bits the grain line, which means weft and warp. It's which way the warp goes. Um, and I did it with the inside pieces. So I put the base as a circle. That's the top bit, which has got the tie on there. That's the bottom piece, which ties up to there. So there's two of those, two of those. The front and the back, these and these, cut four pieces. But remember, you need two that way around and two that way around on your fabric. Um, you need bias strips for it, so you'll cut those out of the fabric you've been given. Then I wrote everything down. This is the teddy bear that I took apart, the little quilt. I actually reused this piece because it was fine, and she wants to keep this little teddy bear. And I put the little badge on it. It's taken me a very, very long time because I can't always do it. But they don't mind. Oh, and that's the back, you see, and it's the same fabric as that. And then we've got the cuddle fabric, 
I made the executive decision to use the inside of the cuddle fabric because the real side that people use actually looks quite scruffy when you rub it, but the inside stays a lot smarter. So it was the inside that I used for this. And so we've got one of those as well. It's got elastic on it. And you'll measure how much elastic and, well, it's just good fun, isn't it? Um, I'll get round to teaching you the sewing. A lot of it has been done on the overlock. But if you want to take something apart and you want to revamp it, that's all you do. You just write it all down. And then when you put it together, you work from the bottom, the last thing that you undid, and work your way back up to A. I put this onto the fabric, I folded it, and folded it, and pressed it, so I knew that all my little seam allowances were all the right size. And it was really nice little job to do, actually. Yeah, it did take me a while, but, you know, there's no hurry, is there? I can't always do it. There you go. Anyway, that's that. I will teach you more in the line of using the machines. We've got new machines. We've got beautiful old machines to play with. Look at that singer. My friend Nikki gave me that. She's a beauty. She's called Little Nikki. So, I leave it down to there. Um, press like, subscribe if you like, and um, to my nieces and nephews, love you lots, be happy.